Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. Large language models are great at language tasks, but sometimes they struggle in understanding the semantics between different phrases, words, or in other words, if you are looking to identify the intent behind a text, then these LLMs sometimes they struggle to understand that. For that reason, I have seen a lot of fine-tuned LLMs doing exactly to identify the intent behind some sort of text. Now this new project which is called as Open Intent Classification tries to resolve that. Closed Intent Classification uses a set of predefined tables to identify an intent. In comparison, this Open Intent Classification enables you to define as many labels you want without further fine-tuning or pre-training the model. Now, why should you use it? For example, one use case could be that you are researching uh, maybe natural language processing classification problem and want to test different embeddings, verbalizers or components with plug and play feel. Or you want to detect semantically user intents in text, but either you don't want to commit to predefined classes or labels or you just want to test out the fastest way to classify text other than through LLM. That is where this open intent classification could be very handy. Now, on its own, this project might not be of much use, but if you integrate it in your AI-powered application, especially when you are dealing with uh, intents, maybe you have a customer service chatbot, which is taking customer's feedback and you want to identify the intent behind what customer is saying, then this might be a good choice to use. Now, this project is very new. It is still in alpha stage, so there will be break class API changes. So make sure that if you are implementing it in production, you are aware of it. And I think it will be good if you just wait and then let it mature a bit, which won't take long in my opinion, and then use it wherever you like. And I will drop the link to this repo in video's description. Let's go and try to get it installed and then we will see how it works. Also allow me to give a huge thanks to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the CPU, GPU, and VM for this video. If you are looking to rent all of these or either of these on very, very affordable prices. I will drop the link to their website in video's description. So please do use them. You won't be disappointed. You will also get a discount coupon of 50% in video's description. So this is my Ubuntu system, courtesy Mast Compute. I'm also using a GPU card, but I don't think so that will be needed for this. Let me create a virtual environment with Conda. And this will keep everything nice separate from my local system. And that is done. Let me now install this open intent classifier with the help of pip. It shouldn't take too long. And that is done. <clears throat> Took a bit of a time, by the way. I was not expecting it that long. But anyway, I might also be using the OpenAI based models with it just to do the classification. So the good thing is that this open intent classifier comes with its own very small 80 million parameter model. So, but we will also try it out with OpenAI's model. For that, you would need to go to platform.openai.com, grab your API key, that's a paid option, and set it in your environment. So let me set it and clear the screen. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook and we will play around with it in the notebook environment. Okay, so the notebook is launched. Let me show you how this works. So we are going to first do T5 based cl intent classification. And as I mentioned, it comes with um, a default model too. So if you look here, it's a very simple code. We are importing the intent classifier library. We are in initializing it or instantiating it. We are specifying some of the labels like cancel subscription, refund request, broken item and various others. And then the test, uh, text is, I don't want to continue this subscription. It is going to take this text take this label and then it will predict what exactly is the uh, intent in this text. So let me run it. So you see, it is just getting that uh, model, the T5 base, very, very smallish model. And I think we don't need a larger model than that. It's already done. And I need to just uh, print this predicted label. I thought I did that. 
so let me maybe in another cell i'll just print it in front of you and let me run it there you go so it says unsubscription there's no reasoning around it you could also get it if you like but yes that is correct if you read through again it is around cancel subscription or unsubscription good stuff now as i mentioned earlier you can also use it with open ai based llms for that you can give uh, this sort of command where again we are importing that open ai intent classifier and then the same label same text the model is gpt40 mini and then we are getting this classifier getting the result back and let's also print it let me run this and it was fairly quick and the class name is cancel subscription so you see because this is the difference between the smallish models and the open AI's model not only it has given exact class name from that label cancel subscription instead of unsubscription and then also it has provided us the reasoning that the customer explicitly states that do, they do not want to continue their subscription so maybe um, if you just say i don't want to talk to my wife okay let's see what it does here same and more so it couldn't find it say the customer's message does not clearly relate to any specific category provided so but rather expresses a personal sentiment this is interesting <laughs> so make sure that you have your key because you know this is a paid option anyway now in the next one i'm just trying to confuse it and specifying multiple stuff so you see these are the labels again cancel subscription refund request broken item and i'm the text is i want to keep the subscription but i want a refund because my heart is broken broken is this and then let's see what model says here what is the intent okay so the intent is refund request the customer expresses a desire for a refund due to personal reasons indicating a request for a refund despite wanting to keep the uh, subscription so it is not an uh, cancel subscription one but it is a refund one so this is really good even you know model understands that you know this is a personal reason but uh, it, so it doesn't say that the intent is to you know broken item or anything like that so fairly good i would say now i will just take these text and i'll go up and use it with t5 and then we will see the difference <clears throat> between these two let me just put it here and then i'll also maybe print that predicted label here and now let's see the difference between gpt and this one there you go it says refund request reasoning there is no reasoning of course and in this case yes so it has also identified it well so the open intent classifier is quite good i must say so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i think fairly good tool really impressed by it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed Please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.